God who at various times and in various ways spoke in time past to the fathers by the prophets, has in these last days spoken to us by his Son, whom he has appointed heir of all things, through whom also he made the worlds, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, having become so much better than the angels, as he has by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. Our Father in heaven has chosen to articulate his love for us in the most extraordinary way, through his Son, Jesus Christ. All the truth and beauty of the revelation of God was seen in Jesus Christ when he entered this dark world and gave it spiritual light. In him was life, and the life was the light of men, and the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. Our entire existence, both physically and spiritually, depends upon the sustaining power of God's word. The Lord Jesus Christ is our life and our lesson as we feast upon his all-sufficient word, and also our teacher as we learn to humbly depend upon him as the source and sustenance of our lives. As the Lord provided his people Israel fresh manna every morning in the wilderness to nourish and sustain them, he also provides us tasty portions of his word to edify and enrich our lives. If we are willing to rise up, gather and partake of what he has already prepared for us. The word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. We need no other sustenance nor any other revelation, but only the ministry of the Holy Spirit within, to help us gain a better understanding of what has already been revealed and the portion that he has placed upon our plate each day. Therefore be imitators of God as dear children, and walk in love, as Christ also has loved us and gave himself for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling aroma. Our relationship with the Father is a loving relationship that must show itself in love. May we follow Christ's example and use his word to impart his life-giving blessing to those we come in contact with every day, remembering that as believers, the standard for our speech is set extremely high. Let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, but what is good for necessary edification, that it may impart grace to the hearers. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice, and be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. The words we speak have the power to do great harm, but also to do great good. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. And only the Holy Spirit working within us can control this potentially destructive force. May we yield to his sanctifying influence within, and keep our conversation pure, so we will edify our listeners and bring glory and honor to the Lord. Let your speech always be with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how you ought to answer each one. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for your goodness and your grace and the provision of your Son, Jesus Christ, and for the indwelling presence of your Holy Spirit, through whom you have shed abroad the light of Christ in our hearts. Thanks be to God, who always leads us in triumph in Christ and through us diffuses the fragrance of his knowledge in every place. For we are to God the fragrance of Christ among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. To the one we are the aroma of death leading to death, and to the other the aroma of life leading to life. O oh Lord, how sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. 
May our lives and our speech bear fruit that will leave a sweet, not bitter taste in the mouth of those you bring across our path today. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us in temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In your merciful and mighty name, Lord Jesus, our Savior, we pray. Amen.